you know, I mean, people, you, I one of the things I used to hear from these patients, these older people, they would tell me, I can't sleep at night. What? And I used to tell people, really, that's the whole point. When you get old, you're not supposed to sleep at night. <laughs> that's something you do when you're young. When you get old, you're supposed to be thinking about akhirah, thinking about dying. So insomnia, it, there's no insomnia for the Muslim. Insomnia just means you're supposed to be up doing ibadah. It's a gift from Allah. I mean, people used to love that they, did, they didn't feel tired at night. They used to praise Allah for that state. In fact, coffee, with the Yemeni scholar Abu Hassan al-Shadri, not the uh, famous Moroccan, but the Yemeni scholar Abu Hassan al-Shadri, who's attributed with the discovery of coffee in Yemen, was a Yemeni scholar who kept sleeping at night, and he wanted to do tahajjud. And so he had a dream in which an angel came to him and showed him the bun tree, and showed him how to make the bun and taught him. And that's why the Yemenis to this day, now they drink coffee just to talk all night. But in the old days, they used to drink it to memorize the Quran. And to this day, the ulama of Yemen, and I heard this from more than one, they used to praise Qahwa because they said, Biha hafidtu kitab Allah. With that drink, I memorized the book of Allah. Or Biha hafidtu al-ilm. So they used to praise it. And in the books, the Maliki books, when the Qahwa first came, because Qahwa in the Arabic language is one of the words for wine in classical Arabic, and there was a debate, like the Mormons consider it prohibited. But there was a debate whether it was uh, intoxicant, because if you have never drinking coffee, and you drink, especially like Turkish coffee, you'll think something, this is serious stuff, it's like a drug. And, and so they debated, and what they decided was, if the person drank it to do ibadah, or to study at night, then it was a good thing. But if they drank it just for uh, just to talk and emptiness, then they considered it had karahiya, that, that, that was something that should be avoided. That was the original debate, and then they moved into ibahiya, which is usually where the later ulama go. Everything becomes mubah, right?